Let's move on to Black Lives Matter. Do you think Black Lives Matter? Have you heard that question before? The proponents of Black Lives Matter are either deceptive or ignorant of the causes they support. They will pretend like Black Lives Matter is just a phrase. Many will pretend it is just about police brutality. Don Lemon, anybody? Um, the Black Lives Matter movement was started because it was talking about police brutality. If you want an all Black Lives Matter movement that talks about gun violence in communities, including, you know, black communities, then start that movement with that name. But that's not what Black Lives Matter is about. It's not an all encompassing. So if you're talking about, um, if, if someone started a movement that said, uh, cancer matters. And then someone comes in and says, I can't think of a more genius rhetorical phrase. Black Lives Matter perfectly encapsulates taking the concept of oppressor versus oppressed as identified by Marx as being the root of modern society and applying it to social issues. Black Lives Matter, however, it's not just a phrase despite its, you know, rhetorical genius. And the phrase, well, like I said, it's rhetorical genius because it's too amorphous to just be about police brutality. About It's not an all-encompassing. And this is by design. Black Lives Matter is self-admittedly a global network which builds power to bring justice, healing, and freedom to black people across the globe. Fair enough. Nothing about that sounds sinister. I would agree with that. But it's clear that Black Lives Matter is an organization, even if you agree with its message. The only refute against my assertion that Black Lives Matter is an organization by declaring it as a decentralized network. The first thing to know is that a decentralized network or something that is decentralized doesn't imply the absence of a central authority. Any subsidiary that is granted some degree of autonomy is by definition decentralized. The United States is a great example of this historically. Before the Constitution existed, Existed, the Articles of Confederation was the governing document. It focused heavily on decentralization, the states holding the majority of the executive and legislative powers. The central government had very little power. James Madison and the other Federalists supported a much stronger central government. The result as a compromise between the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists was the United States Constitution, which still implemented a form of decentralization. The states were still sub-sovereign and for the most part retained control over their own jurisdictions. Decentralization is a generalized concept and is not necessarily an extreme. Even if you're not convinced of my argument that a decentralized organization can still have a centralized control, let's look at how the central Black Lives Matter page describes their goal. So BLM's What Matters 2020 is a campaign aimed to maximize the impact of the BLM movement by galvanizing BLM supporters and allies to the polls in the 2020 US presidential election to build collective power and ensure candidates are held accountable for the issues that systematically and disproportionately impact black and underserved communities across the nation. The Black Lives Matter website has a tendency to refer to itself as a single movement rather than a series of movements or campaigns of grassroots organizations. In the About section, Black Lives Matter refers to itself as a single founded organization which attempts to build local power. The BLM website is not describing itself as a conglomeration of smaller movements that united under a single cause. It is a centralized organization. Organization. And the reason why it is important to determine whether or not Black Lives Matter is a single, singular organization, whether it was built from the outside to the center or from one organization and outwards, is to dismantle any idea or rebuttal that the organization is a group made up of many individuals, therefore BLM is just a simple phrase. Black Lives Matter has its own concrete conceptual meaning just like any other word or organization. It's not an all-encompassing so, so let's ask ourselves one fundamental question that is crucial to this entire discussion. Is Black Lives Matter about police brutality? 
about. It's not an all-encompassing. According to the about page, the answer is no. The only thing you can say for certain is two things. The first thing you can claim is that its initial founding was inspired by police brutality and that BLM does talk about police brutality. However, the BLM website and movement is far more encompassing. What does this mean exactly? Someone who tries to convince you that BLM is about police brutality is gaslighting you. About It's not an all-encompassing. Or they fundamentally do not understand the cause that they purport to advocate. The phrase Black Lives Matter is far too amorphous and the website makes it crystal clear that BLM is an all-encompassing movement. From my perspective, the all-encompassing nature of the organization is an insult to black people. On the BLM page, there is a section about the What Matters 2020 campaign, which contains the excerpt I read earlier about BLM's goal of influencing the presidential election. According to this section, BLM's hashtag What Matters 2020 campaign will focus on issues concerning racial injustice, police brutality, criminal justice reform, black immigration, economic justice, LGBTQIA+, and human rights, environmental injustice, access to healthcare, access to quality education, and voting rights and suppression. In another section, the website repeats all of the previously mentioned focused areas with an additional focus, common sense gun laws. If I granted the benefit of the doubt with things like racial injustice, police brutality, criminal justice reform, voting rights and suppression, education and government corruption, it's hard for me not to see black immigration, LGBT plus healthcare, environmental conditions, and common sense gun laws as anything other than a left wing standard democratic platform. But more on that later. So returning to the about section of the BLM webpage, I can't help but notice a section that reads we affirm the lives of black, queer, and trans folks, disabled folks, undocumented folks, folks with records, women, and all black lives along the gender spectrum. About. It's not an all-encompassing. In the What We Believe section of the page, emphasis is put on connecting black people from all over the world who have a shared desire for justice to act together in their communities. And I take an issue with this because as if all black people everywhere were slaves. How these guys think that they... It's like they they think they inherit it's, the it's, 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 white, it's, it's white supremacy. But, I mean, you want to be it's, it's not, left wing it's left wing white supremacy. It's, 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 it's left wing white supremacy. If you want to be completely honest with it, that's the perfect way to assess it. Is if, if left wing white white supremacists because they think that they can they talk down to you. They talk down. They literally talk down to you like, hey, black man, as at me as the white guy. The, the progressive white guy, I know more about what, what it is that, that, that you think you know about. And this is the position that you should have as a black person because it'll benefit you and your community. Granted, these guys have lived nowhere near me. Uh, they don't have anything near the experience that I have or anything like that. But they think that they get to make that claim because, again, they think that they, they inherit the moral high ground. They think they just have it. One of the funniest arguments I ever got in online was someone who was trying to convince me that I was oppressed. And it was the funny. It was the funny. I can't remember even how it started, oh but I, I I said something that must have like sounded like remotely conservative or something. Mm -hmm. And they said, um, so first of all, the first error they made was uh, they said something about um, they they assumed I was a black American, uh, right? So yeah. they they said something about me about my ancestors being slaves, and like they went on this huge tirade, and I was like, my ancestors weren't slaves. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 firstly, like, I, I, I'm not. They can't even wrap their mind around that there's different <laughs> black people, bro. They can't even. Black people have different experiences. Like, yes, there's, there's like first generation Af Africans that that exist. Even in America, they assume yeah. they just assume like, yeah, man, you should know history. Like, and he's like, dude, my my parents were never slaves anywhere. Like, what? Yeah. Or my ancestors were never slaves at any point in time, uh, because they came from like you know uh, Africa. It's like, what the what in the world is going on? But I, I can't imagine the crap that you get because I think they assume because you definitely have you have a more American Americanized accent. The BLM website states that they do the work required to dismantle cisgendered privilege and uplift black trans folk, especially black trans women. They build a space that affirms black women and is free from sexism, misogyny, and environments in which men are centered. About It's not an all-encompassing. From my perspective, this seems to be entirely different from police brutality, which disproportionately affects men. They dismantle the patriarchal practice that requires mothers to work double shifts so that
that they can mother in private even as they participate in public justice work which is odd i don't even know what that means oh here's a good one we disrupt the western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement by supporting each other as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another especially our children to the degree that mothers parents and children are comfortable the concept of a nuclear family has never been about prohibiting extended families and community what i find interesting is the emphasis on western prescribed obviously this means western society so what is a nuclear family well a nuclear Nuclear family is just a couple and their dependent children is a basic unit. So this does not imply that grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, neighbors are to be non-existent or negative. But when you describe it as Western prescribed, you really mean to say monogamous marriages or the couple as kids. In the eyes of the racially focused left, oftentimes they use Western society or civilization interchangeably with white society. It's important to note this because this is how they view that concept. If you say something about Western civilization or Western society preserving those values, they will accuse you of supporting white supremacy. They will think and accuse you of using that term to mean white people, a society built on the exploitation of minorities. And also one of the reasons why they put this on their website is because one of the ills of the black community as identified from a Western view or supposed white view is the single mother rate and promiscuity more common in the black community. We foster a queer affirming network. When we gather, we do so with the intention of freeing ourselves from the tight grip of heteronormative thinking, or rather the belief that all in the world are heterosexual, unless she, he, or they disclose otherwise. And I'll save my deeper criticisms for last, but I will say this, the person who coded this website and authored the page's contents was created via a heterosexual relationship. Therefore, it's kind of a thing that we do consider statistics about the amount of heterosexuals in society and the fact that every single living person was created through a heterosexual sexual act is why somebody would assume that almost everybody they come across is a heterosexual about it's not an all-encompassing